talking about the whole thing, but could just ask you just about Johnny Saxon now that it is confirmed he's going to win his 100th cap. Can you talk about his uh, longevity and what it, you know how he's evolved and how he's changed and what what he brings to the party as uh, one of the more experienced people? Well, I think I think a lot's been said already about him, and uh, you know I think we could carry on on the on the same subject uh, for years to come as well, not just this week because. I said I said last week that he's uh, he's one in a generation player and you know I, I think that says it all really because um, how many of those are, are about you know how many of those are, are coming through etc. It's, it's it's pretty rare in, in 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 any sport so I think that says it all really, Corky. And just in relation to the um, team selection, you know uh, people may may make it virtually the fact that twelve from from Leinster in the starting. So many players who have that bit more game time at the start of the season. How relevant was that in terms of the next two weeks and, and specifically this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Latter point is a, is a is a is a good point. Um, you know, I, I've been on record in saying before that uh, I would never do the squad a disservice by looking at who who I'm picking, who they play for provincially. Um, it's certainly not fair to the squad. It's certainly not fair to the team. And it's 100% not fair to the individual, you know. Uh, we pick a team on, on, on merit, on what's right, and, and, and where the squad and the field is at at that moment in time. So uh, this is the best side for, for, for Japan, and we go with that. Thank you. Uh, and I suppose for those supporters who might have liked to have seen the likes of Balakun or Coons in there, uh, kind of younger players, what would you say that kind of um, those players? Yeah, and, and, and I get that, you know. Everyone wants to see uh, the the... The next cab on the rank and the, the next exciting uh, youngster coming through, but Gavin's been Ill, Ill all week, so that's 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 ruled him out. He's had a virus and he's not been able to train with us. And and Rob Rob Balakun, he's got uh, tremendous potential, but he's he, he's been injured for a good while, you know, and he's he's just finding his feet and he's come back into the the squad after being involved in the summer. And uh, some lads some lads find their feet straight away, like like Dan Sheehan, etc. And, and some take a, a little bit more time, you know, and uh, uh, bring in an extended squad, a bigger squad, um, into the, the Autumn Nation series is, is going to be great for people like Rob. Is there anybody else ruled out or extra fit? Was there anyone? No, no. sickness, no. No, uh, no we're, 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 we're all good on, on that front as well. Dan Sheehan, you mentioned him there a few seconds ago. What have you seen in him over the course of the last two weeks? I know he's obviously been on your radar for a while, but specifically in camp, what has he been most impressive? Uh, I've seen what, what what you hope to see when you work with uh, somebody for the first time. Someday that's going to come into a daunting environment and roll his sleeves up and, and say, I'm going to prove that I belong here. You know, And, and he, he's definitely done that, and that's what you want. And, and that's what we've seen in the past with the likes of you go. Um, uh, we've seen that with the likes of uh, Kaelin, uh, Ronan Keller to, um, to a certain extent as well. Um, uh, Dan, Dan's come in and he's hit the ground running. He's, he's of course, he's, he's, he's made his errors like, like, every, like everyone has and it's certainly not going to be perfect uh, on the weekend for him but he's, uh, he's got the bit between his teeth and uh, he's, he's trying to show the rest of the squad that he belongs here. Um, I, I've been impressed with um, uh, how he's gone about uh, dealing with the, the tough time that he went through. Um, he's had a good look at himself regarding his preparation, how he prepares, and I think it was a little bit of a shock for him uh, first time up in, in the pressures of international and the scrutiny, scrutiny of uh, international uh, uh, rugby. Um, he's gone away, he's been very diligent, he's wanted to work on aspects of his game that we've asked him to. Uh, there's improvements there. He gets his chance uh, because of all that to, to show us that um, he's, the, he's the right man for the job. Um, he looks in great nick. He's lost a bit of weight. He's got the bit between his teeth. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how he, how he performs at the weekend. What, what kind of performance would you like to see from him? Just being himself, really. You know, he's 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 a guy that that likes to find his way into the game constantly. You know, and that's what we want from our wingers. Um, 
Andrew Conway does exactly the same. He, he's, he's the ability to find a way within uh, a system to, to, to get his hands on the ball. Um, obviously, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's big, he's strong, he's, he's hard to handle. Um, uh, you know, he can link as a, as, a ball player, as a ball player as well, whether it be first receiver or right the back, and he's got a big left boot. Um, so, um, again, you know, we, we know all that. He's, he's, he's bringing that to, to, the, uh, to the arena on, on Saturday. He's been great, yeah. He's uh, uh, scrums have been very competitive, as as you, as you would imagine. Um, uh, again, we've we've picked a, a big enough squad to make sure that that side of things is competitive in the in the set piece. We always want to keep improving in that aspect. Um, to see Ports and, and Tig on the field together at the same time is something that I'm sure we're all looking forward to. Thanks. Well, you know, obviously I was there. In, in um, we all know Portsy's background as a as a as a as a junior coming through. Um, I was there in 2015 when we was toying with the idea, um, you know, and uh, we, we saw him have a fantastic game uh, at Wales uh, in 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 the loose head position as well. It's something that we've we've talked about uh, without actually. Um, giving him the full chance to really prove himself in, in that regard. Um, he's been more than open to the, the, the idea and he's had a full summer to get stuck into it. And, you know, but he's, he's certainly aware, I'm very comfortable in the fact that we, we, we know that he's a top class tight head as well on the way, but um, he's, uh, he's, he's taken to the loose head uh, side of things and we're all excited to see him go on Saturday. Uh, well, well, we'll see. I mean, he's, I think he's done a fantastic job at tight head for, for Leinster and fair play to Kean for, for putting his hand up to help uh, Leinster out in that regard. And he's, uh, he's been very diligent in, in, in doing so. Um, so, you know, stranger things have happened. He's, uh, he's, of course, of course he's, he's proven that he can do so. Of course, that could be an option down the line. But we see him more as a lucid. Um, it's a different challenge for Kean, isn't it? Coming off the bench, uh, etc. Uh, you know, I'm sure that uh, Dan will like the fact that he's th he's there beside him as well. Uh, it could be a different role going forward. We'll see how, how, how he handles that as well. Like always, you know, it's always it's always about improvement. It's al it's always about uh, performance and improving. You know, what areas do we want to improve in? Uh, like I said to you there about set piece, we always want to be more uh, more dominant there because it's such a big aspect of the game. We want to be more clinical in in um, when we get the opportunities as well. And our defence, we think we feel we can we can take that up a, a, another notch as well. It, it, like I was saying last week, it's consistency of performance week in week out, which is against top class opposition is very hard to do. But that's where we want to go. It's certainly not a worry. I mean, Johnny's a world-class player, so why would I worry about that? You know, um, uh, what do we want to see from from Joey and from Harry? We want to see them pushing Johnny. You know, Johnny's not just going to stand to the side and say, "There you go, guys, off, off you go, take over." No, we want we want those guys to, and and other tens to be challenging Johnny to 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 knock him knock him off his perch. That's what a competition's all about in a squad. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, um, the way that Johnny started the season, I'd say is the informed 10. Would, I think we'd all, all, all agree with that. But the more that the likes of uh, Joey and Harry get the opportunity to come into camp, you know, sometimes sometimes training and pressures that we put on them in certain aspects of the game, in, 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 uh, in positions like that, uh, uh, are pretty daunting enough. You know, sometimes it's even more so higher the, the pressure than, 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 than the game anyway. So um, I'm sure in that regard, these, these, these two lads will continue to improve. How have they responded to that over the last few days? You know, when you kind of said that kind of message to them, how have they approached that? They love the honest feedback, you know, and, and, that's, and that's, that's how we are with them. You know, they, they want to know how they, how they can improve and, and what they have to do to, to improve. And 
a lot of the times, you know, uh, at, at this level, you know, because of the speed of, of how things happen, especially in training, the intensity is the, it's the calmness of thought in that type of position and, and, and learning to deal with all that with the pressures of, of trying to understand how to get uh, as best prepared as you possibly can in such a short space of time is, is daunting enough, you know. Um, Joey's been out for, for quite some time, as we know. Harry's uh, pretty inexperienced in that regard. Uh, all this experience will stand to them. No, we're not worried about that at all. No, um, uh, if, if if John is healthy and, and and competing and playing at the top of his game, again, we want people to to knock him off his perch. Uh, I have absolutely no doubt that if that does happen, that um, the likes of of Joey and Harry, uh, Jack Carter, who uh, Billy Burns, whoever it may be, that has to make them a better player anyway. If they want the shirt, if they don't want the shirt, uh, then that won't happen. You know. He's not going to give it up easily, and he's not just Johnny. He's, he's, he's other other guys in the squad. That's what you want, you know. You, you don't just want to hand something over to someone that that doesn't deserve it. That's not a squad. No, no, it's not COVID. No, it's just got the virus. Okay, guys, we'll switch into the environment.